Alright guys, this is Syphic back again with uh, some more pickups and uh, nothing crazy, nothing too insane, but uh, as you can see there is a ton of shit. Uh, well, it's not shit, but you know, a ton of stuff. Um, it was pretty hot again, but uh, it was fun. So uh, let's, uh, let's get started. Alright, so uh, th I found this really interesting controller. Let's pull it out of its bag here. Alright, uh, was at a flea market and uh, actually tripped over this item. Uh, it says go on here. I forgot, I looked it up, I found out the name of the game that this is for. Uh, I don't recall what it's called, but um, it's as you can see, it's a um, some little train uh, game, a rail cart game, and I guess this thing controls the whole thing. And uh, it's kind of crazy because it's uh, Japanese, so it's from Japan. Uh, I'm not sure if this was ever released here, um, but uh, it's like in excellent shape. It has the price on there and everything. Um, but let's check it out. I'll open it up so you guys can see. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see what it is. So there we go, and this is made for the PlayStation 1, made by Tato, and uh, this little lever here goes up and down, I guess these are the, must be the gears, you can see your select and start, got A, B, and C buttons, and this, I'm not sure what this controls, but it moves left and right, so, and it's in excellent shape, it's like new, so that was pretty cool, and this was actually 10 bucks, uh, old man said he wanted 15, but I told him uh, if he would take 10. And uh, actually, look at that. It has the instructions in there as well. Didn't see that. It was kind of tucked in here. But uh, So that was pretty cool. So 10 bucks for an interesting controller. If anyone has more information on the game and if it was fun or not, let me know. Let's see what else we got here. Another interesting item that I stumbled across. Uh, I stumbled across a box of uh, TV controllers. And I was kind of searching through them, and I found this thing. I recognize this because I remember going to Best Buy one day and playing with one of those new Sony Google TVs. And I remember the controller being one of these. Uh, I asked the lady how much she wanted for it. She said, uh, "Give me ten bucks." So for ten bucks, I picked this up. I don't have a Google TV, but uh, I looked up on eBay, and it looks like these go for like up to like eighty bucks. Um, and it's like I mean, I'm not, sure, not even sure what it was even doing in there. I mean, these TVs are fairly new. Um, and it works. I mean, it lights up when you press this button here. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I just picked this up just to resell. Um, you know, for like I said, 10 bucks. If I can get like 15, 40, whatever for it, it's a profit. So. And let's see what else we got here. And at that flea market as well. Picked up some Genesis titles. Super Monaco GP for a dollar. It's in mint shape. Like, I mean, this thing just was like off the shelf. Uh, has the manual and everything included, so it's complete. And another game for a dollar was uh, Greatest Heavyweights. This one also has the manual and is complete as well. So that's another cool title. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, at another booth, some man had a bunch of Genesis. He must have had like 10, 15 Genesis, a bunch of NESs, and he was pulling these out of his truck. And uh, so I searched through the lot, picked the best titles out, and uh, asked him how much he wanted for these. Told me, uh, give me 10 bucks for the whole lot. So for 10 bucks, I got the another uh, Genesis um, power base converter. Uh, it was really, really dusty. I cleaned it up. It cleaned up nice. It is missing the little cover here, but that's no biggie. So I've got three of these now, so that's pretty cool. And the Nintendo titles. I got this game just because it looked insane. It's just, it's just called Werewolf, The Last Warrior. I mean, the cover just looks crazy. You get this um, wolf here busting out of the game. You can see the little chips, microchips in the back. I'm not sure if this game's even good or not, but it looked interesting, so I picked that up. Part of that lot was... Double Dragon 3, and then also uh, Double Dragon 2, and these are, are all in excellent shape. This one has a little bit of peeling here, but nothing crazy that, other than the label is fine. 
Then we got uh, Mega Man 3. And another copy of Mega Man 3. So, very, very, very cool pickup there. Uh, stopped at Goodwill. And picked up this monstrosity here. This was five bucks. It's the Sega Saturn, um, I guess this is the flight stick, or I'm not sure what it is, but uh, uh, it has uh, paddles on the sides, got some buttons here, it turns. Uh, what's really cool about it too is the neck goes in and out by just screwing this, and also you can unlock this, and this whole thing moves up and down. So this is going to be awesome, uh, you know, when I pick up uh, maybe like virtual racing or, you know, really, really cool. It's really clean, cleaned it up. It's really, really nice and mint shape, as you can see. It's really, really shiny. So this is only five bucks. That's a pretty cool pickup there as well. And let's see what else we got here. All right. Uh, went to a Goodwill, a grand opening, a grand reopening of one, and found some pretty cool little things. Got uh, Earthworm Jim for the SNES, and this was, I believe, uh, three ninety nine. And then I found some CDI titles. Um, Got uh, Burn Cycle for $2.99. Uh, third Degree for $2.99. And uh, Power Hitter for $2.99. Yeah, it's, you know, they're crappy titles, but uh, you rarely see CDI games out there. Uh, okay, went to another set of uh, thrift stores, and I found a box Atari 2600 Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, the box is a little beat up, but it comes with the manual and the cart, and appears to be new. Um, not sealed, but um, yeah, still pretty cool. This was, uh, I believe, it was two bucks. Then I found uh, Valkyrie Profile 2, and this was three ninety nine at another thrift store. And this one also is complete, and actually the game is in mint shape. I think this is actually new. I mean, if you look at this thing, it's 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 like the bottom of the CD is just untouched. So that was a really cool pickup. And let's see what else we got here. At another thrift store, picked up uh, Chrono Crusade uh, uh, DVD box set. Um, has uh, five discs, and uh, it just looked really, really cool. This was five dollars, and uh, glad I found this. And it looked, appears to be new as well. Uh, pulled out the CDs, and everything is in there. Let's check them out. There we are. There's the number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And like I said, discs are in immaculate shape. So that's pretty cool. That's a Chrono Crusade. A really, really cool artwork in the back. Look at those. Uh, wasn't talking about the titties, talking about the characters. <laughs> and let's see what else we got here. Uh, went to another Goodwill where I found this thing. Uh, this was seven dollars, and it was in this little bag, so it was new. And let's pull this little thing out here. And it's, I guess, for the PS2. I believe it was a limited edition uh, controller. So uh, I looked these up; they're not worth much, but it's still pretty cool to have. And this is the Chun Li one, which is the cool uh, hologram on there. And it is new; it is sealed in the box. This official little warranty card there. And as you can see, it's never been opened. That was seven dollars. So that's pretty cool. I could have grabbed that just because it looks freaking awesome. It's like a really cool hologram color in the front. Let's put that aside. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, found a couple of uh, Sega CD titles. These were $3.99 each. A little high, but uh, you know, pick, I don't really see these often, so I just grabbed them. Got Prize Fighter. And then we picked up uh, Tomcat Alley. There's a couple extra titles that I picked up for the system. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, there was a couple more NES games that I found. These were two dollars at a Goodwill as well. We got that uh, Dragon Warrior, and then we got uh, Castlevania, which I think I already have, but uh, can never have too many Castlevanias. And let's see what else we got here. I do have a PS1 that needed a controller, so uh, I found one that is new. I mean, I, there's like no dirt or anything on it. I mean, it's like a, it's, just, it's mint. And uh, it says PS1 right there. Picked this up for $4. And I mean, the, the sticks feel tight. Everything's smooth and clean. Uh, so that was another good pick up there. Let's see what else we got here. Alright, for, for a couple more dollars, I also picked up uh, 
a Sega Saturn controller and uh, this was two dollars it's a little dirty but there's some little residue there but I'll clean that up should be good to go and let's see what else we got here also for two ninety nine picked up super sorry about that guys uh, battery cut out there but uh, picked up Super Smash Brothers for $2.99 uh, it's an excellent shape and uh, another cool title that I picked up and uh, to the better or the best stuff uh, went to a flea market where I picked up all these for a buck each um, uh, we got the web browser no biggie that should have been free we got uh, Rayman 2 for the Dreamcast a sealed copy of Sega Marine Fishing Revolt Unreal Tournament Quake 3 Arena Crazy Taxi Soul Calibur Awesome game. I remember playing this when the Dreamcast first came out. Uh, NFL 2K1 Sonic Adventure Tokyo Extreme Racer Alone in the Dark and another Sega Dreamcast web browser so that was a nice, nice little haul there then went to another flea market or swap meet where I found these for a buck each we got uh, Postal 2 Apocalypse Weekend Single Player Expansion with the Postal 2 Share the Pain Multiplayer Edition. Uh, this one comes with the manual. Unfortunately, uh, it says here these are supposed to come with a couple of posters, but those were not included. So, But the discs are in mint shape, so that was really, really cool to pick up. Awesome. And went to another Goodwill where I found Iron Soldier for the Atari Jaguar. This was $3.99. Actually, before paying for this, I opened it up, and turns out that Cyber Morph is in here, which I don't have Cyber Morph, but I do already have Iron Soldier, but my Iron Soldier is missing the manual, and this came with the manual, so this is not really Iron Soldier. It's actually Cyber Morph in the box, but, uh, you know, so if anyone needs an extra Iron Soldier box, I have one. So that was pretty cool. And probably the best find of the day, actually, or the, the weekend, is for $25, I picked up this bad boy here. Now I already have a Dreamcast, but to find one for 25 bucks, as you can see here, it's this 49.99. It was uh, half off day at this uh, this uh, th uh, like a it's like a little thrift store flea market type place, and uh, so I got this for 25 dollars and uh, opened it up, and it's new. It's never been played. It's never been used. It's everything is sealed. Um, and uh, you can see the system in there and it's cardboard it's it I, I pulled everything out uh, and actually came with a copy of NFL 2k2 inside that is also actually sealed um, the controller and everything in there I'm not gonna pull everything out but everything is sealed in the box so it's new so to find one like this was pretty awesome and uh, was a great way to cap off um, a weekend full of tons of great stuff um, so I think I did good let me know what you guys think uh, comment and uh, you know thumbs up if you like the video and um, you know like I said hopefully you guys are having some great finds out there as well and uh, you know I'm trying to get everyone in the SoCal area to have like a meetup so if you guys are in Southern California, I'm kind of trying to plan something where all of us in this area can meet up, you know, maybe hang out, talk games or whatever. I know there's another SC3 event coming up in October. Maybe we could do it there. But uh, it'd be awesome to meet you guys and, uh, you know, like LMA, a little shout out to you. Hopefully we can get up, you know, get together soon and uh, play some games and chill out. So um, we'll see. I'll, I'll PM you guys and uh, PM me if you guys want to meet up and maybe do some thrifting or whatever. So until um, next time, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys are having some great pickups as well. Good luck out there, guys. And um, until the next video, this is Syphic once again, signing out. Late.